Now you don't have to do anything. It just works out of the box. So a couple of days ago, I'll link that video somewhere up here, I was doing some experiments with the batch size when we're selecting multiple rows with a single fetch call. And we saw that locally about 100 was the sweet spot, but across the network, then factors such as the network speed, etc., became more important and we might bump that batch size up. With a bit of experimenting, we got to pretty close to network speed. And the question that comes up is, well, if I'm already at network speed, and I'm not really getting my data fast enough still, are there any options I could possibly explore? And I thought we'd tackle that in this video. Let me start with a demo where it'll all be done locally just to see what kind of performance we can get. So the first thing I do is I'll connect to my local machine. I'll pass in the batch size and I can set that. It's just coming in as the first argument. And then I'm simply gonna loop through all the rows in my table called T. It's got about 1.6 million rows. It's just lots of copies of DBA objects. And at the end, we'll simply pump out the throughput, how many rows per second and how long it took to actually run the fetching. I'll compile that and now I'll give that a run with a batch size of 1000. And it still blows my mind that even on a simple little machine like I'm running here, I can crank out 1.2 million rows per second. But of course, that's all local. And that's probably the best I could ever get because in reality, often we need to actually get data in some sort of sequence, not just query it, we need to add an order by clause because we want the data in a certain order. Let's see what impact that has just here on my local machine. I'll add an order by clause, just pick a few columns there, and then I'll recompile it. Now let's give it a run. And we can see we lost a little bit of performance, probably because of the overhead of actually sorting that data. We've dropped down to about 1.1 million rows per second. That's to be expected, we had to do some extra work on the database before we could start sending that data back. Let me now throw that expected result totally on its head. Let's now do the same experiments over my remote machine. Now my remote machine is simply another laptop sitting here on my home Wi-Fi. So I'll change the connection to being a machine on the network, just a different machine, and I'll remove the order bias so we can see what the best result will be. I'll give that a compile. I'll once again, I'll run it with a batch size of 1000. And you can see I get about 200,000 rows per second and it took about eight seconds to do it. So that's likely our best result. Let's continue on with the demo that we did in the local machine. Now I'll go back into my code and I'll add an order by clause. And that's obviously gonna have some sort of impact in terms of the performance. So let's compile that and we'll give it a run. Now, isn't that interesting? I actually got two and a half times performance benefit by adding an order by clause. So what's going on here? This is just one of the cool little things you get for free in the Oracle database. By default, when we're sending data across SQLnet, we do some rudimentary compression. Now, what I mean by compression is we deduplicate repeated values. Now, because I've ordered the data, particular columns such that owner, object type, etc., are repeated very, very frequently in this particular case. That means I have a very, very good deduplication of the data. I didn't change my network. I didn't gain any network speed. What I managed to do was send less data across the network. That's why I got those performance benefits. Now, you don't have to do anything. It just works out of the box. If you wanted to go to next level ultra compression, then you would be looking at the advanced compression option. That's a separately licensed facility. But out of the box, just normal SQL net, we're gonna deduplicate data to try get performance benefits across the network. So when it comes to dragging data across the network, obviously first and foremost is your order buy should reflect the business requirements. But if you're just grabbing a whole chunk of data to bring across the network to your local application, and the order by doesn't really matter, it might be worthwhile looking at sorting by the most repeated values. That's gonna get you the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to deduplicating the data, and therefore the best performance. But as I said, nothing really for you to do here, it just works out of the box, but if you don't have a need for an order by, maybe thinking about adding one, because it might get you some performance benefits.
Uh-huh.